You know what excites me the most? The innovations that come before us. The people with their great ideas and the energy that they have behind them to help in our space exploration mission. Many of these startup companies that we see, the innovations that they have need a shot in the arm. They need some funding just to help them get over the top to prototype and then test their applications. And they can go from idea to marketplace in just a few months. Prevention of vision loss is critical to our society. And as you know, diabetes, glaucoma, macular degeneration, cancers, all of these affect our vision, and vision is the most important sense we have. We are creating new paradigm of bringing the new spectral imaging, elevating the level of care, and preventing by understanding when the onset of disease is, uh, could be 10, 15 years ahead of uh, your perceived vision loss. Mm -hmm. So this technology, that's the aim of the technology, is to prevent vision loss. I'm sitting here in front of the Anitas RHA multispectral ophthalmoscope. It's designed to take progressive spectral images of the retina in order to allow doctors to identify uh, disease earlier in the disease process and to manage the treatment better as they watch its evolution over time. So it's going to take uh, five sets Five pairs of images is the multispectral component of it. It then moves into taking two flashes from two different directions to generate a stereo uh, pair as well, and you'll be able to see that on the output display. We'll then move on to an additional uh, measurement. It's called fundus autofluorescence, and it basically uses the fluorescence from metabolic byproducts in the eye to show you where you have regions of differentiated metabolic functions. Once the imaging is complete, then the images get processed in the machine and they are presented on the screen in the doctor's office. So basically, you can see here, the doctor would be able to scan through these layers of the eye. It's like moving from x-rays to MRIs. So I can just simply, uh, you can see the choroid, this is the basic, uh, the vascular net on the back of your eye, and this is imaged non-invasively. All what I can do is now is I can scan through these layers, and I can obtain information relevant to uh, to right eye or to left eye and then observe uh, different features that are of interest. I can uh, zoom in and look at very specific areas that could be uh, a problem to, uh, to that person. The doctor will be able to look at these, observe features and then make a decision what the next steps are with the patient. I think as a citizen uh, the benefits of the space program is in fact to promote uh, uh, exploration and uh, science uh, discovery broadly uh, and to the extent that that's being done with, an, with a consideration of how those innovations can apply on Earth, I think it uh, ends up uh, being a good, a good uh, opportunity to leverage uh, what are in the big picture relatively small investments uh, but yet, it, at the right time, the right stage, the right circumstance for a company can make a big difference. Financially, it will have a small impact, but uh, in, in sense of visibility in the market space and enabling the whole nation to understand the importance of multispectral imaging to prevention of vision loss, to screening of disease in the in non-diseased eyes, mm -hmm. and finding disease early, it will, uh, it will be huge. I think the smart cap program uh, can benefit NASA by, by bringing or continue to bring this um, diverse, uh, these diverse perspectives uh, to almost uh, as a proxy uh, for some of uh, NASA's priorities, be able to, with those in mind, uh, take a critical view of the marketplace and ideally identify companies, entrepreneurs, emerging technologies that seem to have uh, kind of the combination of both um, a good foundation in, in science, but also uh, uh, management skills and other, other assets uh, that those entities are able to leverage so that they have a higher likelihood of actually uh, being viable.